Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a bag with two boxes in and these have come to me um, from Craft Buddy via Create and Craft TV. Um, yeah, Create and Craft, well, dot com as it is now. Um, I had some Craft Buddy crystal art items on again. These are Easter. Whether I'll get them done for Easter, I don't know. The jury's out. I'd have to be really, really quick to do them. Uh, and I do still have one of the other projects to complete as well. Um, but yeah, we have a long, thin flat box and a little squat fat box. So, what shall we look at first? Let's look at this one first. And I'll we'll keep that one till last. So, yeah, they had some special offers on and um, Craft Buddy do seem to be on Create and Craft quite a bit. It's um, createandcraft.com. If you do have a look, you can watch the programmes um, on the internet so you can go and see them after they've been on i'm not sure where they ship to anymore so you would have to double check sort of for your country or whatever as to whether they do ship to you uh, but yeah one of the items although it's sort of easter-ish i can use it all year round as well so it doesn't really matter how long it takes me so let us see do we think that these will be in nice craft buddy boxes or just um, in these plain boxes you never know sometimes they come in a plain box and then it's the craft buddy wonderful packaging and sometimes it's not so let's see what we got this time okay oh and it's in the nice craft buddy boxes nice packaging i love craft buddy packaging and look we've got two easter bunnies but well as i say Although the bunnies, there's no Easter eggs or anything on them, so you can just use them all year round. When I saw them, they actually remind me of those, is it Windsor pottery? The white pottery that has the flowers on. Um, and I thought they just sort of looked like that a little bit. So I was quite intrigued to get them. Uh, it says that we're 16.8 centimetres by 25 centimetres and 19.2 centimetres by 22 centimetres so they're a good size they're more or less going to be the size of this box and the price of these i paid 22 pound 49 with my club discount and unfortunately i did have to pay postage and packing as well which is yeah just par for the course you have to sort of work out um if you're going to order from craft buddy whether it's worth ordering directly from the craft buddy store or whether it's worth ordering from Create and Craft if you remember getting the 10% off um, but having to pay postage. So it swings and roundabouts. It, for me, it worked out a little bit cheaper getting it this way. So yeah, let's get into this package and have a look. Okay, uh, lovely packaging, as I say, they do the branding and everything. It really makes you feel special. You just think, oh, I've got a lovely present here. Uh, on the back it's just telling us all the social media that they do facebook instagram um youtube and we've got tiktok as well there so they've got at crystal art and at craft buddy uk so they actually have um two sort of websites there and all their details there as well and tells us what we get in our package and a little uh, diagram there on how to diamond paint but what's in the box we need to know what these look like oh they are a good size wow and they're very heavy as well so if you're using them sort of as a decoration they're not going to be knocked over easily wow okay so let's have a look at your bunny rabbit oh wow they're actually a little bit sort of creamy rather than bright white so they do look bright white on the box i suppose that's just the printing but uh, rather than being a b5200 gem as they look like on the box they're more of a 3865 <laughs> okay we've got our generic leaflet how to diamond paint in several different languages and uh, yeah just to show you how to diamond paint and what you get in your box and everything so okay right we are 15 different gems and colors uh, it looks like we have one crystal and two special shapes one is a teardrop and one is a marquee so that's quite pretty as well 
Uh, we've got our standard little toolkit for a craft buddy, which is your lovely foiled crystal art pen with a three play set on one side and a single on the other. Your white boat, you normally get around about 20 grip seal bags and a little bit of wax. So you've got everything here that you need to diamond paint with. Yeah, lovely for a present for somebody. And there's not a lot of diamond painting to do on these. There's not that many gems, but aren't these pretty? Oh, I'm really liking these. Let me get them out of the packet. Let's have a closer look. So there's a lovely smooth finish on them. They really are quality. It feels quality. It feels heavy. It's lovely and smooth. So it's like, I don't know, what have we got? Um, I would think it's maybe MDF wood. And it's coated with this lovely... I don't know whether it's paint or how they've done it but it's really nice to the touch there's no rough edges whatsoever very very nice very well finished off we've got your little shape there look so you get the shape of the foot and they're like a, well they are a silhouette aren't they with these beautiful flowers on a set is it windsor can't remember i'm sure somebody will let me know as i say it was the um they used to be mainly red though didn't they the flowers but it was a white small pottery piece and then it would have um it would have the flowers on it and they were always very very pretty and let's get this one out so these are our two bunnies so you've got got your cover sheet on with all your sticky area with all your letters uh, telling you where to put your gems and what color to use so you do have your little key code it shows you on here look your shape of your bunnies and then it shows you um where you actually diamond paint which as i say in this case is the flowers and the leaves but i think they're gorgeous just to have as like a nice little set on say either side of a mantelpiece or to be honest they are quite heavy i'm wondering if you could use them as bookends because there is quite a bit of weight to those i think as long as there's not too much i think you could use those as bookends and they'd be really different as well really pretty to use as a bookend but yeah i'm really impressed with these really like these let me just give you the inches measurements we've had the centimeters so we're about well it says it's 17 centimeters so it's about 60 sorry six and three quarter inches and then to the tip of his ears is 10 inches which is your 25 and a bit centimeters so yeah they are a good size i have got some similar to this um not diamond painted though that are scotty dogs that are about this thickness um and I've got three. There's like a large one, a small one, and then a smaller one. So, yeah, I, you know, I've had similar things before. And they are quite an effective ornament. So this is about a, ooh, eight and three quarter inches, which is your 22 centimetres. And then we're about eight inches, about 20 centimetres that way. So, yeah, excellent. Oh, I just love them really really pretty something different as well rather than your normal covering it all and it looks like a rabbit these are a little bit more sort of abstract with them being these silhouettes so yeah really liking these let me just tell you the thickness of them as well or the depth of them i'm sure they would make really good bookends so yeah it's an inch thick this wood which is two and a half centimeters wow really really good and you can tell it's a rabbit you know they're not a shape that you would look at and think what's that and have to really think about what it is they're definite bunny rabbits and the colors are so pretty with these flowers yay oh i can't wait to get these done i think these will definitely have to get done i think the other one is a bit more involved and might not get done for east this easter it will get done for easter just not quite sure which one <laughs> Okay, so they are all resin gems from Craft Buddy. So there are a few more facets and a little bit sparklier, a little bit better quality. So let's have a look at these. So we've got our lovely uh, purple and a little bit of lilac and a hot pink. Oh, it had to be a hot pink. Yay! And a bubblegum pink and a pale baby pink and a nice grassy green and a nice deep lemony colour and a little bit of like a brownie beige colour and a green again and a 
lime green and that's oh that's a definite baby pink and a little bit deeper purple and then this one is your crystal which is like a very very pale green crystal and then we've got some marquees in a lovely grassy green colour and then some teeny tiny teardrops in gold my goodness me look at those they are really small so these are n oh they're going to be all the way around the middle of the flower there look and there oh my goodness wow okay so the middles of the flowers are all going to be the little gold teardrops and then the leaves on the edges all around here and there she says she says looking for them when she's already covered them up with something and yay so yeah very sparkly little bits there okay and where does that one go then that's m m m m so, oh, and that's all these little like flowery bits here on the edges. Okay, have we got any on that side? No, there's oh, there's one in the middle there. So the middles of those flowers. But yeah, all these. So that's pretty similar to the other one that I did where it had um, the stems of flowers with the little pink crystals on. So that might be something new that they've started doing, which is very effective and very pretty. But I don't like my bunnies. Yay! Okay, oh, getting all stuck up here. Let me just put these away and we'll have a look in the other box. All right, just move over there, bunnies. Actually, I can stand them up. Look at that. They are quite stable. You yeah, know, that's pretty. I mean, that one's definitely better than that one because obviously that's got the height. But yeah, very good. Right. So, oops. Oh, look, I can't put that in there. I like to put this in with the gem so I know where they are. with those okay so let's have a look at this one so do we think this one's going to be a craft buddy box or is it just going to be a blank box i've actually not seen this one on the craft buddy website i have only seen it on create and craft so let's have a look oh it's not in a box it is just in a packet okay it's a build it project wow oh my goodness okay lots of instructions so it is actually a 3d easter basket to build up oops show it the right way around liz <laughs> so we're going to diamond paint the edges and then put it all together as a East, an easter basket Okay, so, right, that's sort of a little picture of what it's going to look like. Just there. So, let's see then. Okay, oh, it's got a, a big key code again, 20 different colours. Uh, oh, we've got a lot of crystals. So, we've got uh, one, two, now then, as far as I know, MY means a marquee, but with an iridescent coating. And I'm thinking SD is probably iridescent coating as well. And YQ is usually a special shape. Ys are usually a special shape. So we'll see what the gems look like. But that's just showing you where you're actually going to be putting your gems, which it looks like just on the eggs in the baskets, but the holes of the outside. So there's quite a bit to do on this one. Wow. Okay, let's get this out and have a look. So we've got resin gems with a hot pink, yay. And oh, lots of colours there. Okay, we'll have a look at those in a second. We have our little tool kit. Now this is a double tool kit. So we've got uh, two pieces of wax, two little white boats, still about 20 grip seal bags and two pens with the three placer and the single placer. So maybe they think you can both work on uh, one side each. Um, on that one or you can uh, just do it all yourself <laughs> so there are all our pieces oh i like the handles that's pretty so it's all wooden which is good because it makes it a little bit more robust there's no diamond painting on the handle so that's uh, two sides there oh that's so cute look <laughs> 
so it's printed on the reverse side so even though the inside of the basket you won't really see very much it's still fully printed but look at the outside with all the little chicks oh chick 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 again so yeah there is quite a bit of gems to put on these quite a bit of diamond painting to do very very cute and pretty oh look at the little ducks oh they're so cute oh chicks sorry the chicks aren't they they're not ducks they'd be ducklings <laughs> so it's going to build up so that we've got that that side and that that side and then oops we've got up the edges to do as well so that will be oh which edge will that be then okay and then a little bit on there as well oh this is interesting okay we have a look at this so we've got the base the two sides two of those and two of those oh ah oh that's clever that's really clever so that will slot into there don't want to push it in too far because I'll have to take it apart to diamond paint it and then that matches up your eggs there and goes into that one there so you get the curve up so you get the curve on the basket I'm not showing you am I were you all shouting Liz put it this way so we can see what you're doing so yeah so you match up there and it, you get that bit of a curve and then I was wondering how the handle was going to go on but it's actually going to slot into there like that so the handle will go through there oh this is lovely it's a great size as well um i wish i'd got it a little bit earlier so i could have got it done but yeah not too much to diamond paint on there so if we've just got the center of the flower there and there with your special drills and then just the eggs but again as i say quite a bit to do on there and i'm not sure that i will actually get this done for this easter <laughs> but we will see um yeah i mean it's very very pretty so i like that idea for curving the wood i think that's quite clever hmm so yay look at those and then i'll very very it's a shame there's nothing on the handle i'll be i suppose if you're picking the handle up um it's maybe not very easy to hold with the gems on oh, look at my hands again it's this wood it must be the coating on the wood that is oh my goodness oh <laughs> It's a good job I opened the white ones first. I didn't want to be handling white ones with these hands. Oh, gosh. Right. Let me just um, put this one down and not be handling it quite so much. And, uh, yeah, then I'm just going to go and quickly wash my hands. <laughs> right. That's better. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe the black that's coming off these bits. Right. I'm not going to handle those very much now. <laughs> Goodness me. So we start at number one, which is hot pink. Yay! And our pale pink, and a grassy green, and a lime green, and a lime green with a slightly different shade. Oh, and a lovely bright orange, definite Easter colours, aren't they? And then a paler orange, a lemony colour. And then, oh, that's a different green. That's sort of a jadey green. And a russet colour. And a pale green, peppermint cream green. And a couple of blues there. Oh, and a little teeny tiny bit of baby pink. And a white, which I will probably change out for uh, AB white. It's a shame it's not an AB white, but it looks as though we have some nice colours in here. Oh, we've got an extra green there that's number three do you think they thought yeah it looks as though they've maybe found out that there wasn't quite enough in the bag so they've put a little bit extra in there as well okay so then we have the marquees um oh i can't see that they've got an iridescent coating on so say so they've put them as my usually an my is uh, an iridescent coating but anyway that's uh, a lovely aqua blue crystal we have uh, number 
18 is an owl, then that's definitely got an iridescent coating on. They're what we used to have as our owl claws, which I think are going to be flowers. Uh, 18, 18. I'm trying not to touch this so that I don't get dirty hands again. Oh, 18's all around here. So, yeah, it's all going to be flowers around here. Okay. And then where's the other one gone? Or the other two gone? And, yeah, we've got our oh fire red rounds there, look, with uh, an iridescent coating on. Okay. And then, oh, they're gorgeous. They're hot pink with an iridescent coating. Lovely. Yay, liking those. And that's going to be a lot of these flowers around here. And then your standard silver with your iridescent coating as well. So this has got some lovely sparkly gems. Um, you know, I wish all the kits had a few more sparkles in them. And I do wish it had an AB white in it as well. But uh, we've got enough sparkle here. So that's great. And I can soon add that AB. Oh, look at the little chicks. Aren't they gorgeous? So pretty. I might have to add some gems, you know, onto this handle. Just so it sort of blends in a little bit. I suppose you don't have to use the handle. You could always use it without. But, yeah, nice to sit on your table. Um, or put Easter eggs in. Or just have, you know, little Easter flowers or something. in it. Very, very pretty. So, yeah, nice kit liking this. Something a little bit different. And I like to try different things. Pop those in there. I can't put that key code in there because it's huge. <laughs> but I do like the uh, picture instructions. That's really good. But, yeah, excellent. Shall I give it a quick measure? Does it, there's no box to tell us what the measurements are so oh, I'm going to have to touch it <laughs> I'll just give you sort of a basic measurement um, of the size because uh, I don't want to handle it too much because I've got the bunnies to put back in the box <laughs> so the base is 20 centimetres 8 inches by uh, about 6.5 inches uh, Oh, 16 centimetres and the length of the basket is about 11 and a half inches which is about 19 centimetres so yeah it is a nice size for putting bits and pieces in but yay loving this okay so we've had our two lovely bunnies which the more i look at them the more i think bookends and then our little easter basket yay great fun to do uh, all from lovely craft buddy uh, i have paid for these they aren't uh, pr packages or anything i have bought these myself um so yeah do go and check out craft buddy's website i think they do deliver uh internationally but uh, i'm not sure on the postage rate so you would have to check those out but i still have not seen this one on the website unless it's there now and i've just not spotted it okay well i hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me if you have as always a thumbs up is very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and if you want to join our little family and see what we get up to next then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you're not gonna miss anything yay okay thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now <laughs>